this episode, I'm going to share with you a few techniques for how best to approach the reading. In particular, don't read everything. This is super important because the critical reading section is designed to be tight for time. So by not reading everything and focusing your efforts on very specific parts of the passage, you'll be able to get more points in the time you have allotted. Then when you do do your reading, you should read above and below the portions that you're told to check out so that you see exactly what you're supposed to and the context you need to understand it. Lastly, when you get more than one passage to deal with, do one passage at a time so you can answer the questions to each one most effectively. Let's go into detail on these now. The critical reading passages can be pretty overwhelming and kind of a pain in the butt, but one good thing is that you actually don't have to read everything. This can be a pretty liberating realization. So instead of reading everything, you should start by reading the key parts. That means the blurb, which is the italicized information at the beginning of the passage, which often sounds something like, in this passage, the author, an Italian immigrant, shares her experience of coming to America for the first time. Something like that. After you get that context, you're going to read the first paragraph, the topic sentences for all the body paragraphs in between, and finally, the last paragraph. From doing that, you'll have a, just sort of a, a general lay of the land that you'll need, and the individual questions will tell you where to go from there. Now, why not read everything? Simply, there's not enough time. Very few people find they have all the time they need on the critical reading section. If you do, then fine. You can be one of the few people who does read everything. But for the rest of us, reading particular parts is going to be the best way to maximize our scores. Instead of reading everything, you should keep in mind that you get points for answering questions, not just for reading. It's kind of obvious, but also a helpful realization. If you get points for answering the questions, maybe you should focus on the questions more than the passage as a whole. Also, even if you do read everything, you'll find you won't know the answers to most of the questions anyway. In a moment, I'll show you what the questions look like and why, as a result, you even having read the passage won't be able to answer them. It's pretty remarkable. And lastly, the questions are going to tell you where to look. So why would you read the whole thing and try to sort of memorize everything that was going on if the questions told you where you needed to look for the answer anyway? And we'll look at this in more detail as well. So back to the point here. You won't know the answers anyway. Now, it'd be cool if the questions on the SAT were super easy and then you would, having read the passage, automatically remember the answer. For instance, if the questions look like this. The country that this passage takes place in is, well, you probably would remember the country. Or if the question looked like, the narrator laughed hysterically because, well, you'd probably remember by the narrator laughed. Or the author attacks people who, and again, you'd probably remember who the author was attacking. But the bad news is, that is not what the SAT looks like. The questions are more like this. The author characterizes such people in line 14 as, and then you have to ask yourself, do I remember him mentioning such people and what he characterized them as? And the answer is probably not. Even if you read the passage really thoroughly and were paying attention and absorbed it pretty well, chances are pretty good you'd have no idea. And it gets even more obscure, like this sample question. As used in line 22, easy most nearly means, that's just laughable. Like if you read a passage and somebody asked you, hey, do you remember seeing the word easy in there? Like, do you remember how the author used it? You'd be like, 